So my governor was on CNN doing a town hall. I watched it. And uh, interesting enough, he was talking about all he's done for Virginia's public education. He failed to mention how he, you know, reallocated $201 million out of public education or the fact that our teachers are paid 20% below the national average and, you know, districts like mine are paid 10% below the national average. And he's trying to rewrite history and call, you know, indigenous people immigrants. I mean, besides that part, he's really tooting his own horn. But this part was interesting to me. Governor Youngkin, your transgender model policies require that students play on the sports teams and use the restrooms that correspond with their sex assigned at birth. Look at me. I am a transgender man. Do you really think that the girls in my high school would feel comfortable sharing a restroom with me? Yep. So first of all, Nico, thank you for again asking the question and being here tonight and uh, engaging in this important discussion. I believe first, when parents are engaged with their children, then you can make good yeah. decisions together. And I met your dad and I'm glad that you're both here together. That's really, really important. I also think that there are lots of students involved in this decision. And what's, what's most important is that we try very hard to accommodate students. That's why I have said many, many times, we just need extra bathrooms in schools. We need general neutral bathrooms. And so people can use a bathroom that they, in fact, are comfortable with. I think sports are very clear. And I don't think it's controversial. Just going to pause here to make a few quick points. Again, this man lost $201 million of public education funding for the entire Commonwealth of Virginia over a grocery tax oopsie. This man is not paying teachers adequately so they can work where they live, like in my district. They cannot afford to buy houses or even rent homes at the salaries they're being paid. And finally, fun fact, transgender youth don't transition to play sports. The handful of trans students that participate in sports is simply so they can be a part of a team that they identify with. Also, if we can't pay teachers, how are we supposed to buy bathrooms? I just, I just need to know. I am very, very glad to see you and your dad here together. There are obviously a lot of different views on this topic, and you've said it should be up to parents. But it's not that simple, right? No. Because Nico's dad assuredly feels different than, than the Republican mom that was supposed to be here earlier. In that case, which parent do you go with? Well, I don't think it's that hard when we start with the basic principle that parents matter. See, there's a basic rule here, which is that children belong to parents. Someone who fully supports parental rights, particularly when it comes to education, I also acknowledge that not all parents are great, that children matter, and they are not property. So if you also believe that, feel free to do that.